Melbourne in Australia with Willie, who's one of the volunteers for 40 Days for Life. Uh, Willie, tell us the story about the uh, turnarounds um, you just mentioned now. And uh, what happened after after that point? Well, she walked towards the clinic, and one of the helpers called Joan was standing near the door and said to the woman, "We can help you. Well, why do you do this?" And the woman started. She told the story why she called, and then Joan said something wonderful. She went down on her knees and said to the eight-year-old boy who was silent, "Do you know why your mummy is here?" shook his head because you are going to get a little brother or sister and that was a master stroke I thought because the mother couldn't deny to the child why she came to this clinic and, and, and what happened after that point and after that um, after talking a little bit longer to her we took her away from the front door of the clinic and talked a bit and she said all right then I'll go home you have confessed me and then we didn't hear from her. We were still worried she might have gone to another clinic. But about four years, three or four years later, I came home uh, from being on the street witnessing. And my husband said, there was a woman, a new Australian woman who rang. And I couldn't understand her. But she did ask, does Willie live here? So she must have the right address. So I rang her back. And that was the woman who came four years ago to the clinic and she had a baby girl and she loves it. And life is very good to her, God is very good to her. They bought a house in Noble Park, one of the suburbs of Melbourne, and they both have work and the family is just so happy and good that the mother and the father took the right decision after meeting us, especially Jane. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Willie, for sharing that story. Oh,